Being a Whammy student is a little difficult to explain to people, I would say. The Whammy program uh, uh, was designed to serve our region. You don't find medical schools around the world that have done what this school has done. To continue to meet the needs of the Northwest, the Whammy program is going to have to grow and expand. Our goal is really to serve the community, and I think that the UW does a great job of modeling that to its students and to the larger community. With several congratulatory events across the Northwest region, Whammy is celebrating its 40th anniversary as a regional medical education program. Along with that is a brand new crop of graduating medical students who are finding out what the next few years of their lives will entail as they enter their medical residencies. Important landmarks in the Whammy legacy, creating a healthy future for the Northwest region. The acronym WAMI stands for the five participating states, Washington, Wyoming, Alaska, Montana, and Idaho. The University of Washington and its School of Medicine started WAMI in 1971, and throughout its history, thousands of participants, including physicians, universities, medical societies, hospitals, and legislators, have partnered to advance regional excellence in medical education and to meet critical physician workforce needs in the Northwest, benefiting all of us. I think the Whammy program is uh, unique amongst medical schools across the country. It provides um, unique opportunities that I don't think are available at, at any other institution uh, in the country, really. The first year was definitely a big transition for me. It was overwhelming, it was fun, it was exciting, it was tough, um, but it, it felt good at the same time. Um, I, there were a lot of sleepless nights, there were a lot of long nights in the library with lots and lots of coffee. I think the founding uh, uh, pioneers of Whammy uh, made their decisions based on their personal experiences. Some of the founding pioneers uh, lived in uh, rural areas, some lived in cities. One of the founding pioneers was a Spokane native, but uh, traveled frequently to the uh, small towns. So the founding pioneers based their vision for Whammy on what they saw as the needs of the greater community. I don't think any of us really understand how it came together so quickly. It was enormous cooperation from certain doctors, uh, in fact the majority of doctors, and it was a great cooperation from the governors in those other states who decided that when you look at the cost of building a medical school, this was the best way to go, and they also recognized that they had the same problem that they, we had in the state of Washington. We weren't training the right kind of doctors for where the needs are. As I said, you don't need a heart transplant surgeon in Buffalo Breath, Montana. You need a Marcus Welby, MD. The Whammy program uh, uh, was designed to serve our region. The intent from the beginning uh, in the uh, late 1960s as the founders were designing the program was to uh, uh, re-engineer the way the education of a physician is designed, to train the physicians uh, uh, where they are going to be practicing. The Whammy program uh, originally started in 1971, and it started with just one W in the Whammy. Um, so the four original states were Washington, Alaska, Montana, and Idaho, with Wyoming joining us to be the second W in 1996. Um, so we do have a partner university of each of those states. The University of Washington School of Medicine is the main school. Um, our partner in the state of Washington is Washington State University with campuses both in Pullman and Spokane. Our partner in Alaska is the University of Alaska at Anchorage. Our partner in Montana is Montana State University in Bozeman. In Idaho, it's the University of Idaho in Moscow. And then our newest partner, Wyoming, is the University of Wyoming in Laramie. Whammy is a five-state collaborative around medical education that's sponsored by and accredited by the University of Washington School of Medicine. So Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho don't have their own medical schools, so they partner with the University of Washington to provide part of that education, which is the first year on campuses in those states. And along with those states, we also put a campus in eastern Washington and Pullman, and now since 2008, also in Spokane. I did my first year out in Bozeman, Montana, and it was a uh, wonderful since I'm from there. I'm from Emigrant, a small town outside Bozeman. So I got to return to be near home to start my training and uh, there's wonderful professors out there for all the basic science 
uh, classes plus we have some hospitals there so we get a little bit of clinical experience and it was I think it was nice to start in a small group of 20 and you really get a sense of what Montana medicine is like. So after I finished my first year here in Spokane everyone moves to Seattle for the second year of training and that was a very exciting move to get to be at the big academic center and meet the people who are doing cutting-edge research in medicine and expanding from a class of only 20 to meeting the other 200 people that were my virtual classmates up until that point. One of the great things about the WAMI programs is how much students are able to individualize their medical education. So in their third and fourth year, students really have the opportunity to go anywhere in that five state region to do their clinical rotations. So they can really pick and choose and work in multiple different communities to see how healthcare is provided, but really see different components of healthcare that they're interested in. We are very fortunate that uh, UW School of Medicine has been ranked uh, for 19 consecutive years uh, uh, by U.S. News & World Report as the number one primary care medical school in our country. The success in primary care relates directly to the WAMI program. It takes the teaching away from uh, hospital into the sites of the practice. It gives the experience to our students that they need to make the choices that will be best uh, for them and best for communities to uh, support the uh, care for patients across our region. I think my goals are closely related to all the experiences I had doing rotations out in smaller communities and having that exposure helped guide my career choices and I ended up looking at a lot of smaller community programs so that hopefully I can come back one day whether it's rural Montana, small town in Alaska, little town somewhere in Idaho or Wyoming. I think having the exposure to the, the sort of non-academic community setting showed me that that's where I want to practice one day. It's pretty tough to go out there and go out there alone and be a family doctor in a town doing everything without a lot of relief and I think the medical school here is supporting them. There's a number of programs sending people with more advanced training out there, and I think the program is still very successful. I think other states wish they have it. I would tell people who are coming in as first years, no matter what site that you're at, the things that have made you successful so far in your education are can continue to make you successful in medical school. My first year class in Montana of 20 people are some of the best friends that I've ever had in, ever anywhere and I'm so excited to carry them on through the rest of my career and I think really you know taking time to get to know those people and, and work with them um, and collaborate is just really uh, makes folks successful. 